when a request hits the server, we are reaching this module, the sticky notes underscore web module, okay, and entering this loop with two arguments. The first one is the request itself, and the um, second one, the document root. There is a big case statement testing our request uh, method, and we are going to code here in the post part, adding a new clause testing our notes path. So here my code is going to be divided in three parts. The, in the first one, we are going to parse the request, get the JSON, convert it into an Erlang structure. In the second one, we are actually process the data. And what I would like to do is to dynamically map the action name with the function name of the notes module. It's the module where we are going to create, to put our create code. And finally, we are going to send back the data to the client. So let's start by parsing the request. And here I'm using the request module and the parse post function. The result will be a property list, a list of key value pairs. Here I'm getting the JSON part using the prop list module and I'm getting the value of the JSON key. from that list, the data list. So if you remember the slide just before, um, here, uh, we have actually sent to the server this key value pair, and I'm using the same here. OK. So we are ready to convert that data into an Erlang structure, and I'm using matchyjson2 the decode function. Okay, so at this point we we are able to play with that with uh, that structure, and uh, so as I said, what I want to do is just to map dynamically map the action name with the function name. So first, from that structure, I'm getting the value uh, of the action key, and here I'm using the struct module, which is a module that I've created to ease the manipulation of the, um, this kind of structure from MachiJSON2, which is a tree actually. Since I want to use that uh, as a function name, we need first to convert that binary into an atom. So the slide again, here I'm getting the value of action, which is a binary, create, and we need to convert it. So first I'm going to convert that binary into a list, which is a, a string actually, and I'm going to use the result of that function as the, the argument of the list to atom Erlang function. Okay. Okay, we can use action as a function name now. So my result will be the return value of the notes action function with one parameter, the structure. Okay, notes is the module that uh, we are going to code in the create action. And now we are ready to um, encode back our result in order to send a response to the client. So I'm using here Machi JSON2 again, but this time with the encode function. And I'm using result as the argument. OK. And finally, we can use the request module, the OK, com uh, the OK function, which is accepting one argument, a three elements tuple. So the first uh, in the first one, I'm telling that we are sending back JSON data. The second argument will be for the cookies, but we don't have any, so it's going to be an empty list. And the last one is our data. So that's it for this module. Now we are ready to code or create action in the notes module here.